Viewer discretion is advised. Bad boys, what you want? Turn her on. Get on the ground. I don't understand why I'm being arrested right now. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Calm down. That's calm. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've been on the Wichita Police Department now for about seven years. Actually, next month will be my anniversary. I've always been in love with this department. My father was a lieutenant on the department during the BTK era. My brother's been on the department for 14 years, and we're what we call a legacy family. Really enjoy doing this, and something that I've always strived for. We ran this car's license plate, and it came back as a stolen tag, so we're going to try to make a traffic stop on it. Charlie 171, we are north on hydraulic. West on Morris ran the stop sign at Greenwood, ran the stop sign at Ellis and south on Ellis, signal this turn. Correction, continuing west, no traffic, speeds are 25. South in an alleyway, and towards back behind Drawlick. Stolen license plate, potential stolen vehicle. He is out on Lincoln. We are heading west. Got a stolen vehicle trying to lose us here. Speeds are 50, no traffic. And the stop sign is Zimmerly, continuing south, and coming up to Harry. Ran into a house on Boston. Stop! You're gonna get tased! Stop! You're gonna get tased! Down on the ground! Down on the ground! On the ground! On your belly! Turn over on your stomach! Now! On your stomach! Put your hands behind your back! Hands behind your back! Stop. Hands behind your back! I didn't do anything wrong! Please stop! Please! Officer, it wasn't me! I was on the passenger seat! Alice, why he wrecked when he jumped? Please don't, Alice! I didn't do anything wrong! Stand up! I didn't do anything! Stand up! Sister, tell them that he was driving, not me! Stand up! Walk over here! Back in your vehicle, I don't need you! That's my sister! I don't care who it is! She needs to tell you how I'm driving! Back in your vehicle, please! Sit right here on the ground while I turn my siren off. I can tell you his name and everything, but it wasn't me hey. driving. Hey. I jumped out the passenger seat. Over tell the me drive. what his name is. Alex. Alex what? That's, I don't even know. Alex what? I don't what? know his last name. Is he white, black, Hispanic? He's Mexican. Okay, how old is he? I don't know, he's like 15. I'm so scared right now because I thought he was going to kill us. What's your first name? Jody. J-O-D-Y? My Thank you, ma'am. Can you tell him? I'm... I'll be with you in a minute, okay? My name is Jody. Who is this dude to you? He's my cousin. He's your cousin? You well, don't know his last not, name? He's not my real cousin. I just call him my cousin. <sighs> Whose vehicle can I put her in real quick? I'm not the driver. Come on, I'm going to loosen up your cuffs. You'll let you sit in the vehicle with some air conditioning, okay. okay? Thank you. Come right over here to this car. Okay. I tried to stop it. Sit down and catch your breath. Can I talk to my sister, please? In a minute, okay? Do you know whose house this is, or are we just having an accident know. here? I don't know. I to stop let me out, and he wouldn't, and then he jumped out. Why is he out. running? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. He did he say anything while he was yeah, driving? No. He just did it, and he scared the out of me. I didn't know what to do. I thought he was going to hit the house. All right, Jody, hang tight. I gotta shut the door real quick, okay? And I'll be right back with you. I'm gonna get your sister and let you talk to her, okay? She's right there. I know. Her sister. sister. So this was a vehicle that we noticed the license plate was stolen off a recent case of ours. Uh, the vehicle left the smoke shop, started heading south on hydraulic until we got behind it, and it decided to do a U-turn and give us a little bit of a chase through a neighborhood. Ended up crashing into these poor folks' house over here. We did notice underneath the driver's seat that there's two black flip-flops, and the individual we have in custody is not wearing shoes. Hello, sir. Were you inside your house when yeah, this vehicle yeah. crashed in? Yeah, just as soon as they hit, we come right out here, sir. Did you see anybody fleeing from the vehicle? I didn't see anybody. Did you? I'm sorry, sir? Yes. 
You did? I didn't see which direction. Could you see how many people? Just, I just saw one come out of the driver's side. Okay. Do I have your permission to take this vehicle off your property? Oh, heck yeah. Terrific. <laughs> I didn't think I'd have to fight you on that one. Jody, you doing all right? No, I really have to pee. Well, <laughs> I can't help you with that right this minute, but we may be able to get to that point, OK? So I'm going to jail? I didn't say that yet. Oh, but, but you just said because... you're taking me to a bathroom, my brother. Well, if I can get you to the bathroom, right? Okay. right? OK. So here's my problems, Jody. Okay. And I'm going to be honest with you, because that's the type of officer I am, this OK? One, this one, this one. I was sitting off the vehicle before you guys left the gas, the little smoke shop over there. Okay. And I saw a tall individual with a bun, right. just like yours, get into the driver's seat. That's fine. OK, it and this me. vehicle where it wrecked out, the people yeah. inside saw one person run from that vehicle. As he didn't get out right here. I did. He got out before we hit the house. So he got out running. No, he like I don't even know how to explain. Why it the to car me. was still rolling? He no, jumped out. Like, okay, he did not even and it's come this funny way. Funny to me, there's black flip flops lying on the floorboard of that car, and you're not wearing any shoes. I bet you they're not my size. Well, we're not gonna play Cinderella today. No, I'm just saying they're not mine. All right, hang tight for me. How long can it be till I talk to my sister? It's gonna be just a couple minutes, okay? And if I do have to take these charges for this guy. What are they going to be? Because I have a kid. I'm trying to get back to him. Well, that, I'm, I'm not clear on all that right now. All I can tell you right now is that the vehicle's stolen. Yeah, I, I just wanted to give you my real name. Well, the name you gave me was Jody Pratt. Yeah. Is that not your real name? Yeah. What's your real name? Kylie. Why'd you lie to me about who you are? Because I have a warrant. Who's your warrant through? My probation officer. I have, well, I was supposed to go, it's just a misdemeanor. I have to go and walk it back. Well, I was supposed to go and walk it back. Wait a minute. Your warrant was just a misdemeanor? Do you know that you and I could have talked I know. and sent you on your way I instead of you running? Is that a shock? I just, uh... Trust me, I get shocked on a lot of times. I don't run. Unfortunately, tonight you are going to have to go to jail. Okay, you've got your Cedric County warrant, possession of stolen property. You're going to have an evade and elude and an obstruct charge. I've been on the force for about a year and a half already, originally from Seattle. Really loved Pittsburgh. I was also in the Army and very purpose-driven, uh, wanting to help people. And so that's that, that's why I wanted to come to Pittsburgh. Okay, and uh, name, looks like we got a call here. The uptown neighborhood of Pittsburgh. It looks like a violent domestic. I'm going to back these units up real quick. Why, why was she recording this? What? I don't know. I didn't find a flash on my flash. And Peggy told me to go into the store. And I went to the store just for you. Okay. And that bit was burnt, but I hear I always get in trouble, but I don't even know okay. what I did. Let me get breath. Uh, what? I, 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 I ain't trying to go to jail with something tonight, I think. Who said you're going to jail? <laughs> I don't understand. What the because the police officer wrote you, please, the female, not the. Did, and then people now will be recording this shit. Did you hit her? No, we're trying to grab her phone out for okay, her. Well, let's we'll deal with that in a minute. I'm trying to figure out why you guys are arguing. Did you take her phone from her? No, she had her phone on her hand. I was trying to say, babe, can I please see the recording? Be can I please see the recording? She was like, babe, I'm not recording you. I said, that was in a store just for you. I love her. I've been with her for nine years. I right. said, I know I'm not recording. I know I cheated on her. I told her the truth. I know I made a mistake. This okay. is my thing. I love right. this woman. Right. Now, hang out. Hang out, right? I love this woman. Hang out, we were for nine years. I love this woman. So he, did he punch you at all? He was just wrestling for Over the there. You can see, yes. So he, tried, he just tried to grab your phone, but he didn't, like, punch he you. Was like me. He was punching me so I could get, let go of my phone. Like, I know you record me. You set me up for the police. The, the PO told me, do not drive my car while you're under this mention. The judge told me, time me steal your car, record it. And that's what I done. And you're recording him because he drove the car. I was I was recording because I, I didn't know where the hell my car went. And after he told me he didn't drive my car. OK. He said, I don't got your car. I'm like, well, shoot, let me get outside because I know if he got it, he's going to be pulling up pretty soon. I was fighting for my phone because he wanted to delete so the video. he showed up in the truck, and then you started recording him because he was driving. No, I was recording sitting down. But if he pulled up, I want to get him a good picture of him getting out the car, parking, parallel parking. I got a good finish of it. Okay, so then he came over. He came over like, oh, you, you recording me? You recording me? Oh, no, 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 you got proof detected my PO? You got proof, bitch? Now I'm going to kill you. And I'm like, no, you're not. No, you're not going to kill me today. So that's when I heard him. He's, he's like, give me your phone, give me your phone. I'm like, no, I'm not letting go of my phone. So 
you broke my phone, you know. And really, I wasn't fighting back. Only thing I was trying to do was embrace my phone from him taking it out my hand. So he tried grabbing your phone, but... Yes, with all his might so he could race the video that I'm getting ready to show to his PO. Okay. I want him to stop bothering me. He keeps fighting me all week. Who is he to you? He's my ex-friend. Ex-friend? Well, ex... Like boyfriend type ex, thing? Yes. Ex-boyfriend. Yes. Okay. So you guys have been former intimate partners? Yes, okay. but not really. Not really. Because I haven't had sex with him in years. In well, years. it's, yeah, it's a yes. Like, if it's if ever yeah. in the past like that. Yeah. So if y'all don't do nothing, like, bring him in, because I'm pressing charges all the way. You see these nails? You see my wrist? You see all this? Oh, What's I'm going on with that right there? He's, your, your he's twisted my damn hand. It looks like there's blood on your hand. Yes. Like yes. Is that from you? From like, is there a cut there? Well, every day. I know I got bipolar issues. I know I got mental issues, but this is my pain. I know. All right. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. That's I don't want to be bothered anymore. You done choked me half to death over here. Thank God that these people were sitting here, you know, driving by trying to help me. Yeah. And I told the lady, get out of here. It's too dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. she might get hurt in yeah. the midst of trying to break somebody up. Okay. You said it happened over there where your shoes are? Yes, yes. Okay. Took me out of my shoes. Okay. And I'm like, for real, though? Is you really choking me for this? I want your phone. Give me your phone. I want to erase this. All right. Hang out here real tight. I'm my pressing partner, torches. Okay, my partner and I are going to talk. torches just, this time. Just don't okay. go anywhere, right? Just right. hang out. I never out. wanted to do this. Hang I never wanted second. to do this. All right, just stand here for a few minutes, okay? I never wanted to do this. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Darnell. Darnell? Yes, sir. You got your ID on you, Darnell? Yes, sir. So what's going on? Give me your idea real quick and I'll explain to you. Listen, I've been with her for years, right. man. Yeah. You stay back there. All right, do me a favor, Darnell. Can you give me your stuff? Can you turn around and put your hands behind your back? I'm right. going to jail? Well, you're being detained yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, Son, I'm yeah. going to jail? You're being detained right now. Yeah. So that means I'm going to jail, right? Right now, we'll talk about it in a second. You're being detained. Right I'm going to jail? Right, just, just turn around and put your hands behind your back. I'm going to jail? Just hold on, we're going to talk to you about it. Man, babe, I'm going to jail? Why, babe? I love you. Wait, I love you, babe. Please don't let me go to jail. I love my woman. I feel for face. I love her. Right. And I'm going to jail. You are going to go to jail right now, okay? What? I'll explain. Take but I feel for face, then. I, I don't, uh, this has nothing to do with your probation. Why, why do so, I don't want no detainer? No, no. I don't want no detainer, bro. This, this has nothing to do with your probation. Right now you're going to jail because she has visible injury and she's saying that you caused those injuries. I didn't cause her no injuries. She hey, I didn't cause you oh, no injuries. Don't, don't, don't talk to her. It's only going to make things worse. Hey, don't, don't do that don't, to me. Like I said, she has some injuries on her, and you, you admitted that you went over and you tried to take the phone. During that physical altercation, she sustained an injury, and she got some dried blood on her and some scratches. So. But that ain't for me. Well, it was during whatever was going on over there. No, that's there. not for me, though. I didn't do that. Can I say one word to her real quick? You can contact her after, after Let's court. Let's let this calm down. Let's just sit in the car. Because we gotta get you in here, and then we'll get, we'll secure your property that I have up there. <laughs> can I say, can I say one word to you, babe? I love you. Yeah. Have a seat, Carnell. Watch your head. Just sit tight. We'll go ahead. We'll talk to you in a few minutes, okay? No more taking advantage of me. I'm 20 years older than you. All I try to do is be a role model for you and try to help you through the years. DJ, we are not in the relationship. You got the whole thing twisted. I love you. I don't love you. Love doesn't hurt like this. It's finally over. Goodbye. Have a uh, good life. No, I love you for the bottom of my heart. I grew up in a family of cops. My dad, my relatives, my cousins are all police officers. Joined the military at 18, but ultimately being a police officer is what I wanted to do. I've been on the department for five years. So my family definitely supports the decision of being a police officer, but I also get a lot of enjoyment being able to work these specific areas that I'm working and the people that are on my team. I, can, I can't think of anywhere else I'd rather be. We're going to do a patrol through one of the problem complexes that we have in the area. Because of the issues, there's a lot of no trespassing signs, so we're going to see if anybody's hanging in the area that doesn't belong there. Go to the front. I've done nothing wrong, okay. sir. I'll tell you at the front. Go to the front. Will you tell me that I live here? See? Oh, my God. Go to the front. Jelly. Really? Jelly? Put that on the hood. What the hell, dude? Put that on the hood. Why are you shaking so much? Oh, man. Separate your feet. This is Separate oh, your feet. This is not, this, no, this, no. This is not, uh, this, no. This is so What's your first name? Matthew. Matthew. Yeah. It's, Do not reach for that. You understand me? Reach if you them. reach for it, we're going to have issues. I know. 
Ten. You got anything else on you that I need to know about? No. I'm Coke 4. I got one in custody. Get a 413 in his pocket. Can you run me an additional unit when you have one? Have a seat. I'll talk to you in a second, all right? All right, what's your first name? Matthew. Matthew. Yeah. All right, Matthew, saw you hanging out at the front over there on the property. How long have you been in this area? Three years. Three years? OK. So are you aware of the problems that we've had in the complex? Yes. Yeah. OK. So for that specific reason, the property manager and the property itself put a bunch of no trespassing signs up around this area. OK? So if you're hanging out in front and you're talking, and as soon as I pass you and I turn around this way, and all of a sudden the whole group sees me and you guys start walking away, right? That's why I'm stopping you, is to make sure that you're here, because you guys are smoking and joking on, the, on that corner right there. I mean, well, I'm just curious. I mean, I was cordially talking with, with a female, and, you know, sh she stepped inside. I mean, you saw I was leaving from her, you know, from talking with her, mm -hmm. you know? I'm not disagreeing with you. Everything you're saying is correct. I mean, uh, nothing I was doing seemed out of the ordinary. I mean, uh, the other people, I have no idea who they were that, were, that walked past. I mean, I was just having a conversation with her. Yeah. So even even in that coincidence, the fact that as soon as everybody sees me, they leave, right? You happen to be the one that I catch right there. I stop you. And then right, right when I get to the front, what did you ask that girl? Hey, tell him that I live here. Tell him that I live here. And then what did she tell me? So, she said, I don't know him. Right? So now it's like. She just didn't want to get mixed up. Right? When I stop you and I ask you to come to the front of the vehicle, that's not to ask me questions. All right? I'm stopping you for a legitimate reason. Okay, to make sure that the right people are here and that there's not anything criminal going on, which in this case, there is something, okay? Let me ask you this, is that your gun? No. That's not your gun? No, it is, I mean, I bought it. You bought it? Yeah. Okay, how long ago did you buy it? A week ago. How long? Less than a week ago. Okay. Do you have a concealed carry uh, weapons permit? No. No. Okay, so why'd you have it in your pocket? Protection, all the trouble that's going on around here. Okay. I just don't want to be caught, like, off guard. And... Are you having problems with anybody in the area? Everybody. Like who? Give me a specific, because I know you know a specific. I'm going to take this off, all right? All the black people in the game, you know? One's from this side, the other's from that side. OK. I don't game bang, but still, I mean, I don't say I don't game bang, and then they still So why not leave the area? I have nowhere else to go. Where are you from? Bakersfield. California? Yes. How long ago did you move out here? Three years ago. Was it for anything specific, like a job? Get away from all that gang violence in my neighborhood. It was worse in my neighborhood because I was Mexican. OK. Let me ask you this. What, uh, since you moved out here, have you gotten looking at any jobs? Have you gotten into anything? Are you looking at anything progressive to help you out? I was working for a while, and then I just fell into a bit of depression, I guess, and just, I guess, messed up. OK. And what, did that depression cause you to go into, like, narcotics or...? Somewhat. OK. What specific ones? Heroin. Heroin? I'm trying to go to the VA. Still haven't done that. OK. So VA, your veteran? Mm -hmm. OK. Well, thank you for your service. When did you serve? To 2006, 2010. OK. So I was Air Force. Navy. OK. You can still call them. They can still give you some help and stuff like that, all right? But as far as the narcotics, you should go, dude, you got to get off that stuff, because yeah. that stuff's going to kill you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Where do you get it at? Is it normally around here or Wherever. all over the place? Everywhere. Someone has it on them and they're walking by by having the money. Do you got any family out here? No. All right. So what's the seriousness of this? I mean, what's going to happen? So you had the gun on you. There's no, there's no avoiding that. You had it in your pocket. Um, Nevada is an open carry state. In this case, you had it in your pocket, which was not discernible by me when I first saw you. Because if it was, we probably would have had a different discussion as far as how we were going to do things. So because you had it concealed in your pocket, that is a felony crime. So today you're going to be going to jail with me for unlawful concealed carry of a firearm, OK? From a service member to service member, OK? I am going to give you information if you're interested as far as contacting the VA to get you that, that help for that job. Is that something that you'd be interested in? Mm -hmm. All right. You can at least make that choice on, on whether or not you want to utilize those services. Do a little bit better for yourself. Appreciate that. I'll get you down there, possibly get you some chow while you're down there, and then we'll kind of hang out from there, OK?
So I moved up here a year ago from the Bay Area. Uh, I was working for a big department down there. It's kind of crowded in the Bay Area. I'm happy up here. I got a house on 20 acres. I got some sheep. I do some ranching on the side. I got a couple of dogs. And originally from Germany, but uh, I like the U.S. I like working here. Uh, it suits me very well. I'm going to look back here. There's an area behind a motel here. They're, they're selling drugs there. So just going to roll in there, black out, and try to sneak up on them, see if we can see a transaction. That's a BMW. 1519, one's already in Okay, see me? Show me your hands, show me your hands! Yeah, 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 yeah. Six one, code six. Motel six, one's running. Hey! You ain't got chased! <laughs> Keep your hands out. Hands straight back. Get your hands on your back. Hands on your back. Give me your other hand. Six to one. I got one detained inside. There's a big gray BMW that took off on me. White near driver. Gray BMW Don't you move. Who's your buddy? Who's your buddy? This one was Carolina. Huh? I didn't see him. That was right up the street. You didn't see him? Okay. Turn around. Sit up. Who's your buddy? Carolina. Huh? Carolina. Carolina? Carolina who? I thought she's somebody else, but... I'll push you up, okay? Right. What's his last name? He just goes by Carolina. He's buying a job from him. You buying from him? Yeah. Is that why you got, what you guys are doing here? All right, so... You, you're under arrest for resisting, okay? Resisting? Yes, because you ran. And I told you not to. Okay? Spread your feet. So they probably have some drugs I just bought. You have some what? Some drugs I just bought from them. Okay, where are they at? They're probably in my pocket. Okay. Thanks for being up front. That goes a long way, okay? All right, just one step back. Okay. Get that in a second. You sure that he's the one selling and not you? Mm -hmm. so. I ain't gonna scale to nothing. Huh? No, I just bought it. You got all the cash though. I just gave him half my cash. Mm hmm? If you gave him half, why well, you got so much cash on you? Did you buy uh, did you sell some more and I got no, this? I bought some. Well oh, then your money should be gone, out. right? Did you buy some or did you just rip them off because I intervened? And you went running with the cash and the dope. No, I still, I have my money in my hands, so. Let me, let me tell you this. I don't believe a word you're saying, but that's okay. All right, let's put him in your car. All right, so we're testing right now. Yeah, so tar heroin smells like vinegar. So this has a very strong smell of vinegar. And like the name implies, it's like tar. So let's cut off a really small piece. Yeah, just dump it in there. Crush it. So it's gonna take a minute to react because it's it's solid. You go set it against that white paper. Yeah, there we go. Now it's starting. Okay, set purple. Turn the very quickly. So you can see it's starting to turn. So based on the, we call it a presumptive field test, slightly heroin, and uh, it's gonna be put on evidence, and then the lab's gonna test it to make sure. 
So we'll go and talk to him, see what he says. Hey, David, just I had a few questions for you. What would happen? So uh, when I walk up on you, I see, see you in the passenger seat, right? Driver, he ditches, I think, a needle or something I that I saw. Really and then, uh, and then before I know it, you jump out of the car. Well, yeah, he just, takes off. He right? started driving off, so I jumped off. Yeah. Why'd you jump out? Because I don't want to get no high speed chase. Okay. So you you knew he was gonna take off? No, I, just, I didn't know. That's what put me on. I was trying to get off the So what did you think? I mean, when you when you saw me, what did you think? I didn't. I didn't know what was going on. Just, okay. Seen, but you saw me, right? I saw him. I tried to get out of the car, and he started driving off. And then okay. Trying to do the door thing. Did Did you hear me? Did you hear me to uh, say to stop? And I think I I, I, I told you to stop, or you got tased. I didn't, I didn't look back until the door right there. And then, yeah, that's when I told you to stop, or you got tased. Yeah. Did you hear that at all? That's when I uh, that's when I pretty much stopped at the door. Okay. Right. All right, man. We'll get you squared away. Okay. Thank you. So I'm gonna charge him with uh, possession. And I'm gonna have to talk to Sarge about the resisting, but it's definitely possession, and he's gonna, he's got the warrant, so. Okay, that's cool. what we have. Sounds good, thanks. All right. now, I've been a deputy here for the Cedric County Sheriff's Office for about three years. I think it's an awesome community to work in. We have a very pro law enforcement community, a lot of citizens who back us and support the job that we do. Like any city or any largely populated area, we have a lot of crime. If you kind of find what you like to work for, and things that you like to do, there's there's something for every cop out here. Now we're gonna stop this vehicle. Tag's going back on a Ford Mustang. This is on a minivan, so stop him and see what's going on with the tag. 610.45. Hi there. Wrong? Yeah, your tag doesn't come back, man. Uh, yeah, I'm going to the back to my Mustang and put it back in. Okay. I'm my Mustang because my Mustang got stolen the other day. Your Mustang got stolen the other day? Where is it at now? It's over there by uh, Circle K. By Circle K? Yeah, right over across the street, sir. Okay, whose van is this? It's mine. Is your license valid, bud? Yes, it's uh, uh, Where are you coming from tonight? It's from... Uh, Motel, because I stay over there. You're staying over there. What room are you staying in? In 122. How long you been there for? About a week now. A week? Okay. You got registration on the vehicle? Uh, my dad has my title in his truck. Do you have any paperwork on this vehicle so that I can see the VIN number? I left it all in my dad's truck, sir, and I'm talking to chips. When I got the Mustang stolen, because I was up on our road in Douglas, Two people, y'all got them on camera. That's so prepared. What kind of Mustang is it? 1998 Ford Mustang. What color is it? White. White. All right, I'm gonna hop out and stand out here with me, all right? It's my dad's. Okay. So this car is registered to you as well? What, this one? Yeah. Yeah, me and my wife. Why do you have a tag on it? it because I was just driving you back over there and I didn't want to get in trouble. Okay. Step back here. I didn't Well, the tag doesn't belong on here. You're acting a little nervous on me, man. The window of this car is busted out. Yeah, both of mine. What happened right here? Stand right here, man. What happened right where? Do you have any weapons on you? No, sir. You okay if I pat you down? Go ahead, sir. OK. Are you going to have any warrants or anything, man? No, sir. So who's the car going to be registered to? I'm just Samantha. Right now, I'm going to tell the title to it back to me. OK. Well, here's the deal. We're going to run a canine around the vehicle to see if you have anything inside of the vehicle, OK? Um, the reason that I'm doing that is because of your behavior. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you sit on the curb real quick, OK? We'll just have you step back and sit on the curb right there. Nobody else to come. So, yep. I'm going to run the VIN real quick if you keep an eye on him for just a second, so. All right, what did I do? What is this happening to me? Out of your truck. Ah, uh, been moving stuff. Been moving stuff? Switching houses? No, I, I live in my van. Sometimes. Oh, you live in your van? Yeah, and I was just going back to my Mustang, and I let someone borrow my van. You let someone borrow your van? Okay. I'll watch him. Okay. How come that you didn't just take the Mustang to the Deluxe originally? Uh, when it got broken, they took my key, and I couldn't start it. So how do you plan on starting it tonight? I was just going to park over there. And Sleep in there? Uh, Oh, man, so the dog alerted on the vehicle. 
All right, so we're going to search it. Is there anything in that vehicle that's going to poke I or stick me or harm me? I don't know. All right, I, hop up. I, I, I'm going to detain you in handcuffs. You're not under arrest. Leave your drink on the ground. I, I told you, I just got the van back. Okay, who had it? My friend in room 124. What's your friend's name? Uh, you don't know his name? No, sir. I don't let people borrow my car if I don't know their I name. Know. All right, we're going to set you in the back of my car, all right, man? Yes, yeah, so sir. Don't worry about your drink. It'll be all right. Take a seat. I'm in trouble for everything. everything. Where'd he hit at? He gave me two alerts on the driver's side. He did it on the passenger side, too. As of right now, all I've got is uh, some shake. Just marijuana shake? Yeah. Here you go. What we got? Meth pipe? Yep. Are they in the pants? Wadded up in the pants that were sitting right down there. OK. Actual crystal? Like shake? I, I didn't see inside of it. No, I mean, it's. You just hadn't smoked it all off? Yeah, shard. Yeah. Step out for me, man. I'm going to search your person. Do you have anything on you that's going to poke or stick me? No. Nothing like that? No dope? Anything on you? I don't think so. I don't have pants. You need my pants? They're not your pants? No, I told you. Everything I have. All my clothes are in my storage. So whose clothes are you wearing? My neighbors. Your neighbors? The one that you're living with? No, the one I uh, gave me those pants. What the, pants? No, shorts. He gave it to me before I left. That ain't mine. That ain't yours? No, sir, it's not. Not your pants? These ain't my pants. Well, you're under arrest right now I for meth and possession of methamphetamine and for possession of the pipe in the vehicle, OK? I just told you whose they were. Well, you don't know his name. Take a seat for me, all right? No way. Well, let me ask you a question. You know, you said those shorts in the vehicle weren't yours, right? Yeah, I don't even know what size they are. Why'd you bring the shorts up? Because the simple fact is, I'm just telling you the truth. He brought me those shorts. Were there, was there something in the shorts? I don't know. I just put them down on the ground. Because that's where we found the meth pipe, and you brought those shorts up immediately. Well, Did you know the meth pipe was in there? No, no, sir, but I, he just, I, like I told you, I ain't telling you the lie. Do you use drugs? Once in a while, but not all the time. When's the last time you used methamphetamines? About a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago? Yes, sir. When we get fingerprints off that bag of dope from your pocket, are your fingerprints going to be on that? Oh, uh, there's going to be several parts, several fingerprints. Including yours? Probably because I freaking. You put your hand in your pocket, yeah? Yeah, I did. But you didn't feel the bag in there? No, sir. No? Well, tonight you're going to jail for the pipe and for the dope that was in your pocket, all right? All right, hang out for me for a second, all right? I've had a bad week, dude. I'm that I wanted to be a cop my whole life. My grandfather was in law enforcement. My dad's currently still a police officer. He's going on 40 years. He's had a lot of success in his career, so that's just what motivated me. I didn't really entertain any other uh, career options. I'm that I wanted to do this my whole life. Got started young. I went to the academy when I was 21, and I've uh, been doing it ever since. Uh, we're going to a shots spotter, which means it's activated that there's been four shots in the Cordell area of the city. Um, it's the projects. We're responding with multiple other units. Unknown if anybody's hit at this time. Point Probably have this truck. Where are they at, ma'am? There's one walking away. Huh? Where's the gun? Hey, stop the male walking up the hill. 310 that unit, stop the black, the black male walking up the hill. I'm in. Back away from the car. Now, let me see your hands. Pittsburgh police, back away from the car. Let me see your hands. Where's he at, then? Nobody wants to talk. Where's Who's going to get shot? Oh, I don't know. I think he walked up there. My man, back away from the car. Let, Let me see him. your hands. Yeah. Let me see your, both your hands. Put it on the car. Put it on the car. Drop the bag. Let's go. Move. My man. You got lethal cover? I got lethal. Yeah. Let's go. Move, move, move. Stop. 326 to 328, what's your status? <laughs> 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 
Put your hands down your back. Put your hands down your back. I'm just chilling. I'm just drinking with some of your I ain't doing nothing. I'm just eating some chips. God damn. Hey, I'm just chilling, man. I ain't oh, doing nothing. His hands behind his back. Doing hey, quit reaching. I ain't doing nothing. Just stop. I'm just chilling eating some chips. I said I'd be eating some chips. I'm chilling. You gotta search that car. Sit up. Sit up. So I don't know how long ago this happened, but the gun's right here. The male, black male, he just started the gun right at Cordell. Three ten. Hey, it was just being smart and drunk, talking crazy. Okay. And I told him, why would he do that? No, there's kids out here. We got into a little conflict, and I'm in the house. Called y'all, came back, and was chasing out up the street. And he, I guess that's when he put it down. Because when I came back down, I looked down, and it was right behind my feet. Right. Do you, do you know the guy that... Uh, mm, -mm. That you I was just chasing him because I knew it was his because they told me. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the, the pistol was his? Yes. Okay. I am doing that. Yeah? What's that? I need you to head to 3132 Cordell Place. There was one in the chamber, too. I was on a channel, I was on a channel. All right, there was an AR-15. Uh, we got a call for a male waving a long gun down here. Uh, we roll up, and he's he's messing around in the car. He's trying to get away from us. He's walking away from us. Uh, we take him into custody and uh, search the car where he was prior to our arrival. Uh, we have an AR-15 in the back. Where's that other gun at, Rick? There was also a pistol discarded by another male that we're looking for that uh, went this way. He's outstanding at this time. So at this time, we have one male in custody, two firearms recovered. All right, you know what's going on tonight? Okay, you're down here. You're, you're intoxicated, okay? You are. Don't act like you're not. You know you are. All right. Multiple people are calling. They said, you're down here shooting off a gun, okay? Yes, sir. Multiple people. See all these buildings? There's people in all these windows. There's kids around here, okay? You can't be doing that. Yes, That's sir. why we come down here, and uh, we give you verbal commands to get away from your car. You totally ignore us, and you start walking away from it. Hey, hold on, let me finish. Let me say one thing. Okay. I never ignore you. You got away from the car when you said get away. You were walking away from us. We told you to come towards us with your hands up, and you started walking away from us. So that was what prompted us to put you into handcuffs. All right. Now what's going on with that rifle in the back seat? You know you can't be shooting that down here. There's kids down here, man. I was man. not shooting, sir. Go to a range, okay? Yes, sir. You can't be doing that around here with the kids. Hey. I respect you earlier, and I respect me right now. All right. I will not never do that. You want to do that shut again? Up. I'm going to shut up, and I'm going to listen to you. All right. So where did you get that rifle at? I don't know. You don't know where it came from? No, sir. That's not yours? No, sir. How to, how to make it to the back seat of your car? I'm not. I don't know. It was sitting there, sir. It, was, it just magically appeared in the trunk of your car? I'm not going to say it magically, but... I'm not going to say nothing because right. I don't know how I got there. All right. And I'm not going to sit here and argue and fight with you because I'm a real respectful guy. Right, and I, I and appreciate I'm that. And I'm never going to respect you. I'm never going to disrespect you. All right. All right. So do you understand what's going on? You, you, what yes, you did sir. tonight was, was wrong and dangerous? Yes, sir. Okay. But right. it's not dangerous because I'm not going to never disrespect my kids. So where, where do you think, oh, what do you nah, think happens to those bullets when they go night. up? They go straight up, where do you think they go? They gotta come down. Hey, sir. You understand I'm what I'm saying? I'm not gonna with you, and I'm not gonna sit here and tell you no story. I'm just gonna shut the up, and whatever happened, it happens, but I was tackled. All right. And I'm, I was never as just an arrest or nothing. All right. Well, here's what's gonna I'm happen. You're gonna, gonna go down, you're gonna go down the Allegheny County Jail tonight. We're gonna I'm take your gun. Never disrespect you or and I appreciate not. it, all right? You, but tonight you gotta take yes, a ride for, for your actions. Yes, and then uh, you're gonna get booked on some charges, all right? I'll never disrespect you. All right, I appreciate that. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code three. Thanks, Ted. Get a 2514 transmit on tag two.